Roleplay Retcon does not own any parts of the movies we retcon, nor are we associate in any way with the artists who make them. Also, while we're not the rowdiest bunch, we are adults goofing off, so we might say some things some people might not want their kids to hear. This series features music by me, you. Check him out on thedarkpiano.com. Previously on the Dungeons and Dragons movie. The Empire of Izmir has long been a divided land, ruled by the mages, an elite group of magic users. The lowly commoners, those without magic, are little more than slaves. Izmir's young empress, Savina, wishes equality and prosperity for all, but the evil mage, Provian, has other intentions. Okay, so I think you and I should break into the magic school. You find your master, Vilden, on his knees, surrounded by city guards. Captain Damodar is there holding Vilden by the throat. He is the leader of the Crimson Brigade here in the city. Vilden looks and sees you, and then he uses a spell to throw the scroll from his table into your arms. And with those fists, he breaks Vilden's neck go, and I'll let you keep everything in your pack if you take me to one of your thievy hidey holes or whatever you, wherever you go. The dwarf turns, turns, and it is Kim's character. Point me in the direction of danger. What's back there? Just let's get in the sewer, please! Y'all evaded the guards and went into the sewers. We're going to pick up at the sewers. You've entered the sewers. (laughs) All right. You start to to look around, and I'm going to incorporate one of those uh, things that I talked about last time, those house rules, and we're going to go with set dressing. Kim. Give me something you see in the sewers. Uh, In the sewer, I see that someone else has been down here before. Um, There's uh, there's evidence of uh, somebody bringing... There's like a big satchel that somebody dragged down here and dumped uh, off to the side. Definitely. Definitely. I like it. Ben. Ben. Set dressing. I want to say there's something written on the wall, but I want to think of it like cryptic. That's cryptic. Okay. Um, there, there is. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll roll with that, Ben. There is something scrolled on the wall in a language you cannot read. Wow, and I know like eight probably or something. Yeah, but this is one you can't even read, even with you knowing a lot of languages. Is this? Can I? Can I turn in? And I, I like turn to Ridley, and I go, "Is this thieves' cant? Is that what that is?" Oh, I'm sorry, magician. Are you not, like, well-versed in languages? It was just a question. All right, Gen Z. Set dressing. Um, okay, so the sewers, um, they are maybe a little bit nicer than sewers you would normally think of. It's not like we're wading through three feet of poop down here. It's more like an inch of, um... Of running water, of moving water. Yeah, I dig it. More of a Final Fantasy sewer. So there's definitely water. There is something scrolled on the wall to which none of you can really read. And there is a satchel. Kind of, it looked like it was dragged here. Uh, And it's kind of just sitting along the side. How's that smell, Alex? It smells... Let me roll something. See how it smells. <laughs> okay. It smells like a 64, which is not great. 
It smells bad. It smells it smells pretty bad. Draw distance isn't great. There's like twelve polygons on screen. I mean it is a sewer. Yeah. Yeah. So it does it doesn't smell great. What an incredible smell you've discovered. Okay. Um that's a weird satchel. I don't remember seeing it last time I was down here. Last time you were what? here. You're in the sewer last a lot. Last time. Look, you guys, I I run away from people all the time. If you, you remember, me? Ridley led you guys down here said that they yeah. knew a way to get out. Yeah, this was me. Come on. You got to trust me on this. I'm certainly grateful that you knew your way down here. Um, Aw, thank you. You're welcome. You're, is there anything that we should be doing now? You you seem I to... I feel like right now we should hug just real quick, and then we can keep going. I'm sorry, did you... What? Hug. Can we hug? I feel like we're I... best friends. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Yeah! yeah. We can hug. Let's hug. Stay. All right, All we right. hug. Snails perks up and was like, "Ridley, I think, I think we need to be moving along." There's yeah, we do. It was just us. like it was just like half a second hug. You're right, though, snails. Let's go. Um, yeah. someone grab that sk- satchel, uh, look through it, and let's run this way. Give me an investigation check on that satchel search. I rolled a uh, 12 plus 1 is 13. 13. Yes. Uh, Ridley, as you start shifting around in the satchel, you find 12 gold pieces. Sweet. I'm going to pocket those. Do you want people to see you pocket these, or do you want to try to like keep it on the DL? I mean, I'll share later, but right now I'm going to keep it on the DL, probably. Right, roll me a stealth check. See if you do it. Okay. <laughs> um an eight. An eight total. <laughs> Everyone turns we to look see at you, you as you make the loudest <laughs> clinking noises. Look, you, you guys you, you, you take it's like the the coins are in their own bag and you like lift it up and you jingle it. Uh-huh. Right before you just slide it into your own pouch. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna share, I swear, but right now we just gotta hustle, okay? There's 12 of them in here. Hey, you. Scout's honor. I didn't find it, and you did. I, I'm i impressed. You're really good at Girl, looking through satchels. you are my favorite. You're my You're favorite. really good at everything. I, except for I looking love through you. satchels, apparently. Nah, next time you got it. I, 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 I think I will. I think I will. I'm sorry. Um, Snails, was it? That's your... That's your name, Smail- Snails? And your name was Merlin? What was it's it? Mer- it's Mer- Mervin. You can Mervin. Call- you can call me Mervin. E- yeah, but I-, I, feel- I feel like you were you're onto something when you were trying to get us to hurry along. Like, that was a good idea, I think. I mean, definitely, but you can't rush Ridley. They, they, they've got their own process they've got to work through. Okay, it's fine. I hear you guys whispering about me. Let's go. We're going uh, this way. Which way do we go? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that way. This way. Okay. Follow follow the trail. Okay. Left or right? Left. You go left. Okay. Right. We're going left. You go left. How do you want to proceed down this tunnel? Do you want to try to make it a sneaky way, or you want to try to, like, you just want to get down there as fast as you can? Nah, we're boot scooting boogie in. Boot scooting boogie in. You guys run and run, and everyone give me a perception check. I know you hate it, and I'm going to keep making you do it. Oh! Ten. I rolled a 20. 20! Nice. I see all ding, the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> You see, you probably see it first. I rolled a six. I have a plus three also, so that's, that's pretty rad. Nice. All right, so... In order of, of how badly you did, <laughs> uh, snails. Just like elementary school. World really bad. Uh, snails is constantly chittering about just rodents and bugs and things that could be in the water, and he doesn't like it. Uh, Mervin, you are feeling the same way. You're you have never been on the sh- 
probably never been on the streets, let alone in a sewer. I'm kind of feeling snails recently, you know? Yeah. I feel like snails might be the only reasonable person here. And these were some Rude. new these were some new slippers that you had, and now they're they're ruined. Ah. Uh, I forgot your name. Ridley. Ridley, you uh don't really see anything just yet. Your uh your eyes haven't really adjusted to the darkness. But uh Elwyn, with your dwarven night vision, dark vision, what have you, you see several spaces up up ahead of you some torchlight. I uh, reach my arm out um, and put it in front of Ridley, who I assume is mm-hmm. leading us. And you're kind of walking s- abreast. Yeah. Is it shh? There's, there's. I stop immediately. Torches up ahead. I see torches. Is that unusual? Well, something is down there, or someone. Won't they light all the methane gas on, on fire? Won't there be a sort of poop explosion? I don't that, think so. That, this is a very is that clean a, sewer. Is that a myth? Is that a myth? Okay. What? Um, GM. Yes? Would this... is So Ridley knows their way around these sewers and where the thieves' hideout is and such. Is this unusual? You know... Of a particular character who lives down in these sewers. Okay. Their name is Buggleby Bramblebutt. <laughs> Perfect name. They are a goblin. Buggleby Bramblebutt. Buggleby uh, Bramblebutt. What do I know about Buggleby Bramblebutt? Buggleby Bramblebutt is... The leader of this particular war, and that makes their home in this sewer. They're not well liked by the guards. They're uh, thieves like you and snails. Um, they don't like visitors, but they've let you and snails pass through occasionally. Um, though right now you're not on the best of terms. Oh no, what did I do? You stole something from Buggleby Damn not it. too long ago. Okay. Um, hey guys, so, uh, pretty sure that's Buggleby Bramblebutt. Bramblebutt. I'm sorry. Bramblebutt. And, um, <laughs> I may or may not have stolen something from him recently. Uh, so, uh, be on your best behavior. <laughs> Maybe we'll get through. That sounds like a goblin name. It is. Okay, well, you know, I mean, goblins get a lot of... There's a lot of bad stereotypes out there about goblins, but they're unfair. I'm sure we could be reasonable with him. Wow, Marvin, that is really cool of it's you. Mer- it's, it's, Thank it's, you. It's, Mer- it's Mervin. Thank you. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mervin. Right. Um, okay. So, are there any other, like, in the vicinity, are there any other paths that offshoot from us, or are we really going to have to just go through this guy? Not, not from this way. You can turn away and go backwards, but you know that leads you closer to the guards barracks right honestly we're probably better off dealing with barnaby butterbutt than those other guys it's it's, it's i believe it was buckleby bramble butt <laughs> yeah that's what i meant <laughs> i will oh, not have great. anyone besmirch the name god are we, i guess we'll have to save that for rehash <laughs> <laughs> why like why i won't have the name buckleby bramble but besmirched <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um Yeah, so uh onward. Right. Onward. Yes. Do you want to adjust your plan of attack? Do you want to try to go a little bit more stealthily or do you want to just keep keep pushing it? Maybe we should try and be a little sneaky, you know, just in case. Or maybe we should act casual. <gasps> Acting casual is yeah. such a good idea. We're just Let's walking do that. in the sewer. Yeah. Yeah, let's just yeah. walk like we are just passing through. Yeah. All right. Just, you know, Y'all passing on a, through on a the pleasurable sewer. stroll through feces-infested <laughs> a, waters. A promenade through the... <laughs> <laughs> well, now, a promenade I can do. Yes. <laughs> so you all can see the torchlight now as you're approaching it. And soon you walk 
out of the water. It kind of slopes up into a pretty large rectangular room um, that seems to... There's a dam at one side that's keeping the water at bay from flooding it. And there is a table and several chairs, a few small beds, uh, as well as a uh, a candle chandelier. Fancy. And sitting in an... (sighs) Ugly, stuffed chair. It looks like it's made out of uh, rat hides and other kind of squishy things. Is a rather plump goblin. Is it him? It is him. Hey, friend. Hey, how's it going? We're just passing through. And he, wa- um, he wakes up from his sleep. Shit. <laughs> 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 goes, what? 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 <laughs> who's in my Who's in my Warrens? Get out of me, Warrens! A uh, quick load. Oh quick yeah, load, we're quick getting load, out of load. your Warrens immediately. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, what are you What are you doing here? Hi. Uh, passing Rid- through. Ridley, is just that you? Just on a stroll. What? Just who's just Ridley? A stroll. It's It's nothing. Nothing to see here. Just wandering about. He rubs the sleep from his eyes. And stares dead at you, Ridley. And and then he turns to snails and he's like, I knew it was you too. I knew it was you. You're going to be giving me back what you stole from me, ain't you? Listen. Ain't no time for listening no more. I want what's owed to me. If I could just interject, what what exactly did you do? Are are you accusing my associate of, um, of stealing? They stole my ham sandwich. Oh well, I I have a I have a I have a sandwich in my bag. Can I? Would you like my sandwich? I packed like, it kind for of later, sandwich? but I what? I, I could get something else. What kind of sandwich is it? I, it's it's not it's not ham. It's mutton. But perhaps mutton. Perhaps you would enjoy that. Me's allergic to mutton. Me wants ham. I can take the mutton off. Then it's it's bread. Well, no, there's other I things. I can get bread. There's there, cheese. Listen, we, we have an entire bag of magical artifacts. What? Look, a fine gentleman like this does not care about that kind of nonsense. Now, Look, let's not be heads. hasty, Ridley. What kind of bag? Yeah, Mervyn, what kind of bag? you have, because I don't have anything like that. Well, Marvin, what do you have? It's, it's, it's Mervin. I don't know what they stole. I have no idea. What did you guys steal? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Marvin. You said you had a bag of magical trinkets. <laughs> We're at an impasse. I don't ben, know what to do here. Ben, so- um... I- Mervin, give me an intelligence check. Yeah, yeah. You got it. How many pluses to that? It's three. It's my good one. I got a 20. A 20? 17, 17 plus three. So, you know that the wand you got from uh, your master... Vilden. Um, you know that is a specific wand of teleportation that only works from the street right in front of the tower to his workshop. And it will not do you any good anywhere else in the city. Okay. Uh, I, I say I have a wand of teleportation. Could get you right to the street whenever you need to be there. We used it not, what, not not 15 minutes ago. Yeah, we totally used it, and you know what? There was ham sandwiches there. There's ham sandwiches all over the place up there. I look at Ridley and just, like, like so that, so that Buggleby can't see me and, like, raise my eyebrows and kind of glare at them a little bit. <laughs> Let me see if uh, Buggleby sees that. 
Bugleby sees that. Well, why that? <laughs> Marvin, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it's Marvin. You know there are ham sandwiches up there. I didn't want him to know about the delicious ham sandwiches, and but you've. You... Yeah, well, that's pretty rude to our friend here. He should have all the ham sandwiches he wants. I'm owed ham sandwiches. I want ham sandwiches. I was just thinking maybe I could sort of sweeten the deal. Um, yes. You seem to be a goblin who uh, treasures the best things in life. And I have, I have a lucky troll's toe charm that I am willing to share with you for safe passage through this section of the sewer. And and I pull the the. It's a very, it's like a desiccated <laughs> troll's toe on a little charm, and 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 I hold it out for him. Maybe we could. That, I could, this could be just a, a, a gift to you. That's and and we could just be on our way. That's there's a a, a powerful offering you've you've offered, uh, Bugleby. Trolls, trolls' toes are. <laughs> You're offering it to me. Are oh, okay. It's a, it is it is my lucky troll's toe, and I will share it with you. Tell you what, the troll's toe, the wand of teleportation, and five gold. Five gold. Five, five gold. gold. Five gold. Bartleby, listen. Buggleby, Buggleby. I'm you so, know I know, this. I know that. I'm so sorry. Listen, for one ham sandwich, you can have all the ham sandwiches once you get up there. Ridley, you know People how are just going to run screaming. You know how hard it is for goblins to be up top. Getting a ham sandwich is, is, is a difficult thing for Buggleby. It's so difficult. I work so hard to get that last sandwich. Baby, I know, I know. It was so rude of me. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I was, like, I was starving. I was hungry for minutes afterward. Minutes. I'm so sorry. I know, I know, I know. You know what? Um, hey, uh, snails. Oh. Yeah, really. Do you still have that? You know, you know what? Do I you still have that. I, I, I still have it, really. I still, I don't, I do have it. Yeah. Do you think, you know, I mean, I'll get you some more cheese later, buddy. Ridley, this is my special cheese. This is snail's cheese. I know, cheese. baby. I know. I know. Maybe we I could know. add it to my uh, used to be mutton, now only cheese sandwich. Fine. Fine. Have the cheese. Have the have It the could cheese. be a snails, double cheese sandwich. I will sandwich. get you so much more I will get you so much more cheese. You know. You know I'm good for it. Ridley, you owe me so much cheese over the years. You know how much yes. cheese you owe me? You know. I know. You know why? I just really appreciate you sticking with me, though. Snails gets into his bag and pulls out a, a pretty substantial wheel of cheese. Snails, you don't have to give them the whole thing. But, uh, Just a little bit. Uh, uh, dibs, I called the whole uh, the whole wheel. Dibs. Damn it! Buggleby calls it. Okay, fine, Bob. Fine, Bigleby. You can have the cheese. The cheese, the troll's toe, and the wand of teleportation. And ye be gone from me, Warrens. Thank you. You're such a benevolent, kind person. We love you so uh, much. Don't butter me up, Ridley. Now we're even, Steven, right? Well, we're, we're working toward even. I'm Thank going you. into Mario. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realize that I'm just, I'm doing Fitzroy, Maple Court. Like, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Yeah. From Adventure Zone. Um, we're working toward even, Ridley. Now, get your tails mm -mm. out of your horns. <laughs> yes, sir. We appreciate your safe passage. And I hope that my lucky troll's toe also brings you luck, Buggleby. Oh, it's going to bring me more than luck, all right. It's going to bring me 20 gold. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to do anything to move past this scene. <laughs> you, you're doing that now. Okay. If you've handed over the wand, the toe, and the cheese. 
Let's go. Right. Quite, Let's go. We're going to keep quite moving. We actually kind of um, bargained. I think we sort of negotiated against ourselves like a lot back there. I just, maybe we should be careful <laughs> about really the future. Did. Merlin, listen. It's Mervin. It's, it's Mervin. Thank we, you. I'm sorry, I, Marvin. As much as we really appreciate your input, that guy, you don't understand. You don't understand how important it is for us to be on his good side. Let's just keep going. Oh, I mean, he lives in a sewer. How important can he be? Now, don't be classist. That's rude. Not everyone is privileged like you are. They are right. Well, that's fair, but he still chooses to live in a sewer. <gasps> Nobody <gasps> chooses their upbringing. Listen, if it wasn't for... Never mind. I don't want to get into the racist classist stereotypes this is not you're the imposing time. against Bartleby. Well, I, uh, Let's just I, let keep me, going. I am not racist. I, I am the least mm -hmm. racist person I know. Y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all. Y'all. Mm -hmm. I don't... We can... We can hash all this racism out as soon as we get up to the surface I know a little spot we can hide out let's just let's just go there, there should be another access point down this way it'll probably be dawn by the time we get to it I would like to point out but that Snails is the only person here that makes any sense besides me <laughs> besides you rude look you have heard our doors feel I think that I make it at least a little bit of sense. We flash to Profian's tower where Damodar has just informed Profian of the mage's escape with the scroll. You allow a slip of a boy to escape you with the scroll and now know that the Empress's finest tracker is in pursuit and you tell me not to concern myself? It was a mistake. It will not happen again. There you are right and here's why. Profian stands and casts a spell on Damodar that sends him to his knees in pain. The skin over Damodar's skull distorts and warps, as if some creature is crawling beneath the surface of it. It crawls down his face and finally disappears into his chest. Two tentacles with ravenous maws erupt from Damodar's ears. They make a high-pitched growl before retreating back into Damodar's skull. Just a friend I'm sending along for the ride. A gentle reminder not to make any more mistakes. The moment you deliver me the rod, I'll ensure that he, it, vacate the premises. Profion kneels down and speaks directly into Damodar's ears. Now, may I suggest that once you two have become fully acquainted, you follow the Empress's track and order. She happens to be good at her job. She will lead you to our missing friends and the scroll. And this time, Damodar, don't fail me. The next morning, the party exits the sewers to find a crowd gathered around a guard who is holding up a wanted poster. Mervyn of Potenza, student mage, is sought for the brutal murder of high mage Vilin Vilda. He is accompanied by two thieves, one a human, the other a half-elf. They also might be seen with a street dwarf. Any information on these villains should be brought to the Crimson Brigade immediately. What a bunch of racists. I swear. I know, right? Ugh. What did we do to deserve this? Absolutely nothing. 
absolutely nothing. I agree. What do you think, Marvin? It's, it's Marvin, actually. I'm sorry, Marvin. I'm sorry. You know, it's my thing. Marvin. Ridley, you always do this with new people. I'm so sorry, Snails. I try so hard. You called me like, Snails for a week. I know, I know, and you know how much I love you. It just, look, it just gets in my head, and then just like little bits and pieces. I can't help it. It's because my intelligence is negative one. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the on the on the guy gex intelligence matrix. Uh, <laughs> we took a we took a BuzzFeed quiz to see what our guy gex intelligence matrix was, and it was negative one. Um, I'm sorry. Me, Mer Mervin, Mervin seems very distant. Oh, Mervin, I'm so sorry. That was so insensitive of me. Because your guy died and now they're blaming you for it. What bastards, honestly. Should we kill them? Should we just murder them? My axe is ready. A day ago, I was a student at the most prestigious magical academy in the country. And then what happened? <laughs> yeah then what happened it, i'm sorry i don't mean to i don't mean to distract you we can we can um where do we go now well i know uh I know an inn that you guys can, that we can lay low in and uh and then you know figure things out. Oh, uh, are you talking about the salty crow? N no, it's not the salty crow. It's a little bit closer to us. Uh, Mervin, I'm gonna apologize in advance for everything. Uh, oh, okay. Um, That's a lot to apologize for, snails. Well. <laughs> Snails leads you down the street to a very large tavern, and in front of the tavern is a sign of a mage that is bent over, and his cloak is up, and above the sign is read the words, The Buggered Mage. Oh. oh yeah, this is my favorite place. Oh, oh this Merlin, place is great. So oh, they have good ale here. Am I going to be allowed in uh, here? Snails. Uh, you might be buggered. Like, rough and tumble ah. this guy up a little bit. I mean, well, I've got a spare cloak you can wear. Oh, Just snails, you're such a bro. Throw that over your finery. Oh, wait. I can't. I can't be like in pristine condition. I just spent a night like hiking through the sewers. So, oh yeah, yeah you're hella true. stinky. But you're still wearing like fine robes. You, Can you not? You're use you're a dirty mage. You're still a mage. Do you yeah. not have that spell? Can you not press to digitate your? Yeah, press to digitate. Listen, I'm only a. Well, if I was to put it in some sort of numerical system, I think I'd be a level three wizard. So I don't, I don't know. Prestidigitation is level one. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, it's not on yeah. my yeah, sheet. <laughs> you should do well, something about digitize that. Digitize yourself. <laughs> Did I really not give you prestidigitation? I'm looking at all of my spells, uh, okay. and I do not have a prestidigitation. It's, that it's is not under very cantrips. Unfortunate. Nope, I got three cantrips. I got firebolt, mage, and a tree strike. Oh, okay. You know what? Uh, I think the last time I ran a wizard for somebody, they gave me shit about putting prestidigitation on their character sheet. Oh, okay. And so I left it off this one. That's well, then like I, one of the best. Spells. I mean, I mean, surely, surely it is, and I don't know why. Surely I could just do that, right? I mean, like we could say I could do that, right? We could fudge that. Sure, you can have prestidigitation instead of true strike. Yeah, true strike I'm never going to use. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, make the changes. Anyways, Snails leads you inside the buggered mage. It is bustling with activity. It seems, even this early in the morning, there are plenty of patrons going about, singing songs, drinking ale, eating food. Even in the corner, a bard is setting up on stage, 
and is about to play a tune. Mervin, will you dance with me? Will you dance with me, Mervin? Sure, I you know, I'm 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 a bit of a I'm a bit of a, a picker myself. I I, I enjoy uh, I can I can play a little. Um, but sure, I, I I suppose we could we could dance. Yay! Let's dance. is a low profile it'd be weirder if we like slunked in the corner and didn't say anything like that guy over there snails comes up to you and uh says ridley i got us a table we can slump over in the corner and draw oh, attention perfect. to ourselves great thank you snails let's do that uh snails lead you actually upstairs to the second floor balcony where they have a table laid out um and a server comes by and says, What do you have? Well, what do you have? Like, well, we got everything. What do you, what do we have? I really do like a roast quail. A roast quail? A one roast quail? Uh, for you, um, f- fancy lad? I'm feeling something light. Do you have, um, do you have a quiche, perhaps? Something, something light like no, that? No, we ain't got no quiches. But just some no. foie, just some foie gras, perhaps? Fog what? I'll have a quail. <laughs> quail. Two quails. Uh, for you. Uh, Ridley, I've seen you here before, Ridley. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. Thank you for recognizing me. Of course. Friend. What would you like? Uh, um, the snapper. The snapper's good. Oh, you know I love the snapper. Snapper, snapper for mm-hmm. you. Yeah, okay. Let me have All the right. snapper. All right, snapper for you. And a whole, a whole, just, just, snails, what, what do you want? I just, uh, it's been a long day. Maybe just an ale and some cheese. Yeah, bring the finest cheese you have for my buddy snails here. The finest, finest finest Gouda we got. It's, it's Gouda. It's, it's, it's Gouda. You hear that? It's Gouda. It's adorable that you think Gouda is fine cheese. He scurries away from the table, uh, orders in his brain, and you are left alone at the table in the back of the upstairs. Woo! We've had a crazy day today, huh, guys? It has been a day. Yes. It has been one whole day. Yes. Yeah. Elwyn, I'm so sorry. It was so rude of me to ask. Like, we just kind of swept you up. What were you doing out in that alley? Like, thank you for joining us, but, like, what's going on with you? Well, I, you know, I was wandering from one market to the next and looking. <sighs> See, I, I was trying to get this special kind of, like, breastplate armor I, I saw it in this shop window, and I haven't been able to find it since. I wouldn't. I don't even know what to call it, but it's it's very a breastplate. Yes, but fancy. It, I, a I, I fancy was, breastplate. Something like that. Yes, I was looking mm. for that, mm. and going from shop to shop and market to market, and I haven't found it yet. Shops but in I this think town I will. don't really like dwarves. But yeah, you know, jerks. you have to go to the right shop. You do. You mm. do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's true for everything. Yeah, this is true. They also don't like half elves, but whatever. I feel like this is a very racist city that we're in. It really is. We should do something about that. 
Yeah, well, I appreciate that you say that. Like, I feel like, I don't mean to speak for everyone here, but I feel like we've got a cool little gang here and we're all on the same team. Right, Marvin? <laughs> Marvin, sorry, Marvin. I know that. I saw it. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I don't... I don't understand... Why are we a gang? Why are you still... Are, why are you still here? I don't. I don't think I don't appreciate because it. Because we're but best friends. I guess. Well, I did, I Mervyn, guess. if you hadn't noticed that that town crier kind of fitted us in with you and your whole supposed murder situation. I'm sorry. I know you're thieves, but you don't deserve that. It's not your fault. You know what? That is the nicest thing a magician has ever said to me. Thank you. So, Mervyn, what was that that scroll all about that your oh. professor threw at you? Yes. Um, he digs around inside of his cloak, and he produces it. Um, first of all, I want to know, like, sna snails, this is... We, how, how in the corner are we here? All right, all right, listen. I'm going to pull out the scroll, but... Don't pretend like it's a scroll. Pretend like we're playing mazes and minotaurs or something, all right? Like, shake your hands like you're rolling dice or something. And uh, he, he takes it out, and he kind of, like, lays the scroll out, and, like, I'm a, I'm, it's got writing on it that no none of us can read, probably. Or at least I can. Yeah. Uh, in fact, as you roll it out, food's here! And, then I, and I, like, I, like, quickly, like, roll it back up. <laughs> Make it make a dexterity save. See if you do it. Oh, great! I feel like I was tricked into this. Just gonna. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Roll it. Roll it. Uh, I I made. Um, Give me them. Oh, I'm a dexterous wizard. I can do six stunts. Uh, I got a thirteen. Thirteen's not bad. You you managed to to get it rolled up before anybody sees it. Actually, you get it rolled up right before a fat pheasant is dropped directly in front of you. It's very juicy. I, juice well, I ordered I ordered a, a quail, bit. but this does look good. <laughs> yeah, juice actually <laughs> splatters on your your shirt a little bit. Well, that will help through the illusion, I suppose. And then the quail is actually put in front of Elwyn, and uh, the cheese is put in front of. Yeah, everybody gets their orders. Let's not draw this out any. Mm, this <laughs> yeah, we haven't, done, we haven't done that in this session any. We haven't done that any. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, we didn't. We didn't play I Dirty Santa you, really. with a goblin for fifteen minutes. <laughs> I lay the um the 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 scroll back out. The scroll. I guess the it's scroll. a scroll. Mm -hmm. Um, it is a scroll. And like I. Uh, I kind of remember what was on this, but like, what's on this? Are there pictures? Are there any pictures? So, it's all very f fuzzy. The scroll seems to be actively moving. There are glyphs on it and big red marks, uh, big red uh, sigils. Um, you can't discern anything from it. As soon as you focus on one piece of it, it swirls and goes to another part of the scroll. Master, the master and I thought this was some sort of encryption or sort of security measure to keep people from reading it. And I, I can't imagine why. I've, I've, I've studied magical languages through much of my um, education. And, uh, imag well, there's no such thing as a magical language, but ancient languages. And and I, I don't... There's not one I've not... When... It, when I say I can't read this, I mean it literally. And that's the first time I've ever come upon it. We saw in the sewers, you know, the glyphs in the wall. I, I'm sure someone can read this, but this is literally impossible for anyone to read. Well, it can't be impossible for anyone to read, right? You see snails perk up. And snails, and... Stales goes, I'll be right back. And Stales okay. goes downstairs. 
Have fun in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. Don't fall in. I I think Master Vilden was close to something. I think he was killed you for it. You know what? I bet he totally was. I'm stuffing my face full of fish right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's some weird stuff, man. Ridley, as you look down at the scroll, you recognize some of the red markings on it. Oh my god, I do. What are they? You recognize them as a type of uh, a magical lock that your father used to put on his uh, plans and his his uh, let's go with that his plans <laughs> for a uh, for flying carts and and other magical uh, mechanical things. I'm so sorry, Marv. Do you think I could see that for just a second? It's Marv, but yes, of course. Thank you. Um, please wipe your hands. Thank you. Okay, sure. And I wipe my hands on my on my shirt. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you can remember how your father used to open these locks. That is um a ten. A ten. A ten is just good enough to. Sp- Spike your memory, and you remember that your father used to place his hands in very special places along the sigils, right there toward the middle. And he spoke three magic words. Uh, Alinor, the Gaul, and something else that started with a B. Okay, um... Uh, you know what, uh, Marvin, I think, like, I think I've got it's, this. It's Mervin. It's um, Mervin. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mervin. Um, I think it's like, and then I'm going to put my hands in that way, and I'm going to say Eleanor, the Gaul, uh, breakfast? Would, would Mervin know a, a, a third word that started with Roll a Roll an inside check. Okay. <laughs> Breakfast is a is a good is a good uh Oh boy. Oh boy, no. Yeah, I rolled I rolled a four, so that's not gonna happen. Yeah, you've got no idea. This sounds like peasant trash for you. Yeah, that's not I'm Ridley uh, that's nice, but I don't think that's magic what you're doing there. You know those other words, right? N- no, I'm sorry. I've never heard anything like that. Eleanor the gall Badara And the whole room goes black. Gonna, Break it gonna get down. out my little lunch pail here, and I'm gonna get my turkey sandwich and my little sandwich bag of goldfish. I, I want to thank my cousin Charlie for being in, in our the little pre-recorded bits from this episode. He was also he was also Luigi in our uh, remake of the Super Mario Brothers movie from 1993, which is our series before this one. So if you think he did a good job, and I do, I spent a long time telling him I think he should be a voice actor. Um, <laughs> yeah, like he does a really great job of that series too. So I would like to thank More Purple, More Better, the maker of our character sheets that we use uh, here for our characters. They're really, really cool. Basically, they just you plug in a few values and it auto populates all the information straight from the player's handbook and a lot of the other uh, resources and and other uh, that word I can't remember but it's really cool because it just does all the stuff for you uh, <laughs> and they have a Patreon uh, so if you know check them out see like 
you can use the the pages yourself and if you like them maybe throw them a few bucks their sheets are their sheets are really cool they are really cool. all of us use them yeah all of us have used them for games outside of this podcast so totes. they're they're cool and like I, I, throw my, I, I, I really I, have outside of the podcast i think you're the one that showed it to me i am so, yeah. you're welcome all yeah. right so i will take that opportunity to go to the next thing in which we thank <laughs> we thank people for yeah talking we're about professionals us on twitter because Twitter is where people talk about us, and we really appreciate the people who talk about they us tweet. on Twitter. Uh, like first birds. off, they do. They tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. Thank you, Jared, Stacy, and Cody, who are our patrons, and we love you guys. Thank you. As well as the Dice and Die show, formerly known as the D&D show, I believe. <laughs> At Mad Fishmonger. Yeah, and the voiceover artist, Bob Scary. Thank you. Tale of the Manticore. Wilbo Baggins. Mm -hmm. And Ethan Nightingale, who... Ethan is one of the ones who is auditioning for next season's guest star. If you ever want to guest star on the show... Let us know. But right now, I am accepting guest stars for the next series, uh, which has not been announced yet. If you're interested, um, look at any of our social media. Our next episode is going to be up on September 16th. So set your calendars and your audio listening downloadable logs. Yeah. Yeah. We just recorded. We just we just recorded it and we actually do some, some Dungeons and some, Dragons stuff. Some in it. dragons, Woo! some dungeons, and all dungeons. and all and actually it's neither a, of those there was things. An and then there. don't we tell talked them. about all those things. We did. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on September sixteenth. Okay. Or I guess a little bit or after that if you're you know if you're, if nasty. you're nasty. Which I, I get. Okay, bye. If you're nasty. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye. <laughs> Bye, kids. <laughs>
we seek it for protection of the Empress. I won't even keep it. I don't even want it for myself. Why did you say this? Oh, do you not know the Empress? She is the best, right? You guys, the Empress? Oh, yeah. She's yes, so she good. fights very good. People. Even I like her, and, and I also hate the everyone big people. except you guys. It, it, yeah. Only political rally I've ever been to, which we don't vote, so I don't know why they had that. It was weird, but it was... She's just the best. Once equality... You know what? Let's change our answer to that. We want the rod for equality. Yes, for equality. Equality yes, queen. for all the people. Equality and protection is a cause. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, like, I, like we all high five each other, like, like very subtly, yes. like, like high softly. Five. High five, high five, five. <laughs> but be warned: if you embark on this quest, you must see it through to your end. Or be eternally damned. Yes, that does seem to be how things are going. Can we can we define eternally damned? You will be cursed. Your lives will be difficult. I think we're in a mystic voice who doesn't have a name, I guess. It is sealed. If you were completing this task. You must first obtain the dragon's eye. Only through the dragon's eye will you see where the rod lies. The voice fades away. The lights and the noise of the tavern return to your ears and your eyes. And it's as if nothing has happened. Me and Snails took, picked a really bad time to go to the bathroom. Make a perception check. 14. 12. 17. Seeing all the things. Mervin, you see Snails at the bar talking up an elvish lady. And Elwyn... You see at the front of the tavern, Damodar, surrounded by ten of his guards. 